Hey, what's going on guys? It's Frolix here, bringing you another video on the channel. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be going over the 10 best sports cars in GTA 5 Online. I said if we got 500 likes, on the supercar video, we would do a video about the best sports cars. And I do realize I pronounced a ton of the names wrong, and I do apologize for that and for recording at night. So I just decided to hop on my computer and record it on there since I can freeze the time. So it makes it a lot easier. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video pretty much. It'll just be the best possible sports cars that you guys can buy in the game, best upgrades, best performance, and just stuff like that. So it's gonna be a pretty awesome video. So hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to go and check out Diggy Zandy. The link is down below in the description. If you guys want 10% off GTA 5 cash and rank packages and a bunch of other awesome stuff like casino chips and there's just tons of stuff, go check out their website and you guys can get 10% off by using code FROLIX. Anyways, I hope you guys do go on to enjoy today's video and without further ado, let's get it started. So the first car we're talking about today is the Vicer Neo. Now this car is 1.875 million, definitely one of the most expensive ones on this list and I believe it is based off of an Aston Martin in real life. I'm not 100% sure though, so correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comment section. Anyways, it is a very nice car. In terms of upgrades, there is a couple pretty cool upgrades you can put on it. Of course, changing things like the exhaust, the bumpers, and things like that. Taking a look at acceleration and top speed, it is pretty good as well. If you take a look at the speedometer on the left side of the screen there, you guys can see, I believe it reaches around 120 miles per hour. I'm not 100% sure, but it's somewhere around that level. So it does compare to some supercars. It is a pretty fast car as well, which obviously a lot of people would love. Since it is $1.8 million, it better be pretty damn quick as well. But when you actually use this in races, it's really, really fast, very, very quick. And another thing is the handling is very, very good on it as well. When drifting around corners and things like that, it actually handles very, very well, which obviously is great because the price is so high. But there is a bunch of other cars on this list that are much cheaper that handle much better than this car. But it is one of the fastest ones, definitely a really cool one, and looks nice when you upgrade it as well. So the next car on this list is the Benefactor Shalogen GT. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it or not. It's a pretty nice looking car. It's $1.3 million. And the one thing I love about it is the upgrades. Now this car has a ton of pretty cool looking upgrades, lots of bumper, hood, grill spoiler just stuff like that and I think it looks really awesome when you do fully upgrade it by the way every car in this video you will be seeing it completely maxed out if you guys were wondering every single thing on it is the max including the livery if you wanted to get like the most expensive livery now in terms of performance this car is obviously not the fastest sports car in the game it is very very quick though and I do like that and it looks really really cool as well and one thing I really like about this specific car compared to a lot of other cars it has a specific engine sound which I think sounds really cool as well there's not too many cars in this game that actually have an engine sound that is somewhat realistic or just sounds different than any other car in the game. As you guys know before, all of the engines practically sounded the same. Now they added more things in like pops and the shift kind of changes from high to low in certain cars too. So obviously that looks really, really cool. Anyways, it is a really nice car for $1.3 million. It has lots of awesome upgrades and I personally don't really like the GT wing. I think it looks too big on practically every single car unless it's like some drift car or some tuner car, then I think it looks pretty nice. Some of the other spoilers on this car though do look really, really awesome. So if you're thinking about buying it for just a show car or something like that, definitely purchase it. It looks amazing. So the next vehicle on this list is the Ocelot Pariah. Now this car is $1,420,000 and this car is one of the best sports cars you can possibly buy in this game. The only downside to it is though there is not too many upgrades available for it, but that really does not matter too much. It has an amazing acceleration, it has a very high top speed, it can outperform almost all of the supercars in this game and I believe it is one of the fastest if not the fastest car in the game. Let me know down below in the comment section what is the fastest car in GTA. GTA 5 Online, but this car is definitely really, really cool. Kind of does suck that there is not too many upgrade options for it, but it doesn't really matter because you're going to be winning every single race, and the only thing people will be seeing is this massive spoiler on the back because you're going to be gone down the road. It's definitely a really nice car. Handling-wise, it is pretty decent at handling. I did notice while driving it around, it's a little bit heavy while turning, unlike a bunch of other supercars, but it does have a pretty decent traction and sticks to the road a lot, so obviously that's going to be helpful in races, and of course, if you were to use it in races, you're just going to be flying ahead no matter what because it is one of the fastest cars if not the fastest in the game so next up on this list is the fister neon now this car is 1.5 million dollars one thing i really like about this car is it can do a front burnout and also a rear burnout by holding the emergency brake and the gas 
or just doing a regular burnout and it will actually burn out both sets of tires which I thought was really cool and since it does have that option of course it has a great acceleration since it is an electric car so obviously that will help you guys out a ton in races personally I love using this car in sports races mainly because you get shot right off the line right away and right into first place so it gives you a little bit of a head start compared to the other racers who don't really have a chance in terms of acceleration since this is electric but that does not mean this is the best car in the entire game the downside to this car is it has a set top speed you guys can see on the speedometer it literally just goes all the way up like that and then it just stops but there is some good things about this car there's no gears to shift it just shoots straight up to that top speed very very quickly which is why electric cars are so quick nowadays so obviously this car is great for acceleration definitely one of the best ones you guys can use but the downside is of course it doesn't have a super high top speed so a lot of other cars will end up catching up but if there is a lot of turns in a specific race this car will definitely be overpowered since the acceleration is so quick it'll be able to accelerate after each of those turns much faster and in terms of the handling for this car i'm not a huge fan of it mainly because I'm not sure which side it actually handles from, either the front wheel drive or the rear wheel drive, because when you do end up drifting, it does kind of matter which set of wheels you're drifting with, the front or the rear. But it is still a really nice car. For only $1.5 million, it is definitely worth every penny. So next up on this list is the Itali GTO. Now this car is $1.965 million. Right now it's actually on sale for $1.27, so if you guys wanted to purchase it, now is probably your best Bet. This car should definitely be on this list because one, it's a Ferrari and it looks really, really awesome. The upgrades on it also look really, really cool when you're driving. And of course, it is a pretty quick car. We're going to take a look at the acceleration right here, which is actually pretty decent. And then we're also going to take a look at its top speed, which of course can't be too fast because it is a little bit cheaper than some other cars, but it is still very, very quick. You guys can see on there, I believe it's reaching speeds of around 120, maybe even 125. Not 100% sure, but it's around that particular area. It is a really nice car and also handles very, very well at the airport at least and when I'm driving around it actually does go around turns fairly nicely even when you do drift which is one thing I really like about this car most cars that hit around 120 on your speedometer actually are really really good in terms of handling because the speed is a little bit lower so you don't actually need to take your fingers off of the gas therefore you guys will just always be at that top speed or always accelerating around there but it is still a really really nice car I do suggest purchasing it because of course Ferraris in this game look really nice I'm not a huge fan of the liveries on it I think it looks amazing in one solid color especially yellow or red maybe even gray and possibly black those all look really nice on it though but of course the main reason you guys would be buying this is for racing and performance so in terms of that obviously it is a very very nice car when it comes down to it and it's definitely something you guys should consider buying so next on this list is the Obey 8F Drafter. Now this car just came out a little while ago with the Diamond Casino and Resort update and it's only $720,000 and I definitely think this car is worth it. The one thing I really love about this car is of course the sound it makes when it revs and of course the liveries on it look really nice and I'll give you guys a little listen of the exhaust. So the exhaust on it I really love because it is custom to this car, so that is just an added on bonus. And don't forget this car is only 720000 The acceleration on it is pretty decent as well, it's not the fastest car in the game, but it does have a decent acceleration and an okay top speed. I believe it reaches around 125, maybe even up to 140 if you guys are truly just maxing the speed on this thing. It is definitely a really nice car and I would definitely suggest you guys purchase it because it looks really cool and also since it is a newer car in this game, there's a of course more upgrade options for it because Rockstar is actually adding more upgrades for newer cars of course and it is also stanced just a little bit if you guys can see the rims on there so it's definitely worth your money plus it's only 700k so if you were considering purchasing it it's definitely worth your money. So the next vehicle on this list is going to be the Albany V STR. Now this car just came out in GTA 5 it's 1.285 million dollars. One thing I really love about this car is the speed and the upgrades. I think it looks really cool when it's fully upgraded. Not a huge fan of the liveries though but it does look really awesome especially with F1 tires. Now taking a look at the acceleration and the top speed of this car, if you take a look in the bottom right hand corner you'll see a mile per hour gauge and it is a little bit off but I still think it is pretty accurate. So this car does top out at I believe probably around 120 miles per hour which is a pretty decent speed. Now when I'm just driving this on the roads it feels much faster than that. It's a very very quick car, you'll definitely be able to drive around very very fast in this. One thing I also love about it is the handling. It handles really, really well compared to a lot of other sports cars, which is one thing I love. 
even though it's more of a sedan because even in real life this is obviously a Cadillac and you would think it'd be more of a sedan instead of a sports car but I guess you can kind of call it a sporty car as well but like I said the main thing I would purchase this car for is the speed the look of it and the handling it handles really well compared to a lot of other sports cars like I said so it's definitely worth the 1.2 million but I would suggest holding on to your money for right now because the F1 cars are coming out very soon if they already did come out though and you guys already purchased one I would definitely suggest you guys purchase this as well so the next vehicle we're taking a look at is the Grody Bestia GTS. This car is only $610,000 and the reason why I love it is just a really great car in terms of handling and acceleration and top speed as well. It's not the fastest sports car, I believe it just performs like a regular sports car would, but in my opinion for 600 k you're getting a pretty decent car. When you guys do take a look here at the acceleration and the top speed of it, it is pretty quick. You can also look at the speedometer if you wanted to, but both of the gauges are pretty much the exact same. The down side I do see to this car is the upgrades. There's not too many upgrades available for this car. I would love to see some more come out very soon, but it is a very old car. It did come out with a finance and felony update, so of course, they're probably not going to add any new upgrades anytime soon, but it tops out at around 110 miles per hour, but since it does top out at that speed, it handles very well. Therefore, you guys can go around corners really, really easily by drifting or just turning as well without having to take your fingers off of the gas, which does help a lot in races or just driving around the city, which is another awesome part about this car. So if you did have a couple extra 100K or something in GTA 5, I would definitely suggest you guys purchase this for a starting sports car because it is very good in races and it'll help you guys learn how to race properly if you are new to the game. So the next vehicle we're taking a look at is the Lampadati Kamada. Now this car is 1.275 million dollars which is pretty expensive but i do like it it looks like an alfa romeo sports car which looks awesome and i believe it is the ghibli i'm not 100 percent sure though let me know down below in the comments if you know which car this is in real life now the upgrades for this car are pretty cool as well there's not as many as i would like but of course there's not too many upgrades you could possibly put on this car but taking a look at the acceleration and the top speed of this car is actually pretty decent and one other thing i love about this car is it has a custom exhaust tone to it as well like most of the newer cars cars in this game do have which I really like. Now it is a little bit faster than the Bestia GTS that we just looked at. Now of course that will help it a little bit and in terms of handling as well it is very very good just like the car we just looked at and it is honestly worth purchasing because it is just such a nice car and it sounds really cool as well plus the upgrades look really nice on it and I believe it is lowered a lot as well. I'm not sure if it is stanced or not but another thing is this car would look amazing with F1 rims on it so if you guys have them and you want to put them on your cars definitely put it on this and if you guys want to see how to get f1 rims i'm going to be making a video tomorrow on how to get them because then everybody will have access to them so definitely another car you guys should take a look at and let's hop into the next one so the final car that we're taking a look at today is the coil raiden now this car is 1.375 million dollars fairly expensive but another thing is it is an electric car not 100 percent sure which one this is in real life it kind of reminds me of like a tesla model 3 or something and it makes us some other stuff not 100 percent sure in terms of upgrades it doesn't have too much which is pretty obvious i wouldn't think it would anyways but the one great part about this car is the acceleration like i said electric cars just shoot up to that top speed very quickly the downside of course is though it has a set top speed so once it does reach that top speed it pretty much maxes out at that now it's pretty much the same speed as the last two cars we just looked at the kamada and the bestia gts so when it comes down to handling it pretty much handles the same like i said though about electric cars and the specific ones in this game this car can also do a front burnout and a rear burnout so in terms of handling it doesn't handle as well as some other cars would but it is still a very very nice car it's very quick as well which is obviously an added bonus so if you were thinking about buying an electric car i would obviously opt for the neon but if you didn't have enough for that then obviously just by the coil rate and they're pretty much the same in terms of performance and handling not sure if there's a huge difference in top speed though so guys that is pretty much it for the video hopefully this did help you out if you were considering purchasing one of these sports cars in gta 5 and of course if you guys are thinking about buying this right now as this video is coming out think about buying the formula one cars because they did just come out right now so i would suggest purchasing one of those first instead of actually getting any of these cars yet because f1 dlc is going to be pretty cool so obviously all of these sports cars are going to be very helpful if you guys are going to buy one in gta 5 but like i said that's it for the video today thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy it be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe if you are new to the channel we are so close to hitting 150,000 subscribers which is absolutely insane considering we just hit 100k just a couple months ago so let's see if we can hit 200k before like june or something like that that would be amazing anyways thank you so much for watching the video hopefully you enjoyed it and i will catch you guys in the next one.